This week's Color Rescue, we're talking about dated bathrooms and how to make them look so much better without ripping them out. I have saved so many clients in my 25 year career from completely ripping out their bathroom by just picking a new paint color for the cabinets, new lighting, new mirrors, a new shower curtain. There are so many different things that you can do. And I feel like people approach bathrooms and kitchens that are dated with this all or nothing mindset, right? Either we do a full renovation or nothing. You might not get around to that full renovation for years, but there is so much you can do now with paint and decorating and styling that can make it beautiful now, today, to enjoy. I really think there are such little time that we spend in bathrooms that unless they're falling apart, should really be low priority. I had a friend who bought a house that was a little over his budget. He knew he wanted to renovate, take out the kitchen, take out all the flooring, because that's usually top of the list, right? Because there's so much bad flooring out there. It's all choppy in many cases. We want to take it out, the kitchen where we're spending a lot of time. And his contractor said, oh no, you need to take those three bathrooms out now because now is the time when your house is a mess that you should do it. Well, he did. And now his two kids and himself and his wife are sleeping on mattresses because they can't afford to buy bedroom furniture. So that's the thing, right? I fully believe in spreading the money around. And over my 25 years of doing this, I become really, really good at it. And all I've done for 25 years is help my clients take what's dated and make it look better. I am not the designer that just rips it all out and starts again and throws in some trendy cognac black and white. <laughs> you will not get that from me. So here's the other thing you're going to learn from today's episode. And that is when you have a dated kitchen or bathroom, that is actually the time to embrace some trendy colors because you're going to be bringing that bathroom from 1995 up to 2023. And that's huge. So get curious with color and decorating. Any charm you add to a dated bathroom or kitchen is going to be an improvement from what it was before. And who knows? It might be so cute that you can live with it for the next 10 years. That's the goal. Shop. It's way better to have money for lamps, kids. I mean, lamps. We need to have them. That's, that's the most important thing to create happiness. Winter is coming. And this is lamp season, all right? So lamps, that's it. That's what we need. And put a lamp in your bathroom too, okay? So let's get started. We're talking about four bathrooms in this episode and watch through till the end because you don't know which nugget is gonna help you make your dated bathroom so much better. Okay, so Andrea sent in her ensuite bathroom and this is what she said. While I would love to rip it out after a $37,000 quote, I wonder if I could live with it for a while longer and then tackle the kitchen instead. Previous owner painted the house a stark white that is definitely wrong and the bathroom this random deep purple. My current state is paint the house, wait a year, then move, or invest and stay, love it or list it type of thing. I'm curious as to what paint color you would suggest for the walls. So this slate was trending big time in the 90s. That's where you can immediately tell that this was the era of the bathroom. But you know what actually saves this bathroom, in my opinion, from being a complete redo is the fact that there's no bad stripey accent tile throughout. I mean, this square stack tile is trending again, the whole 80s and 90s look with the zellage tile. And even though it's not as timeless as a white or cream bathroom is, I think I would would keep this bathroom with just some decorating. I would replace the countertop with Cambria's Canning Gate, which is a brownie green that would relate really nicely to the green tile. Paint the walls hazy skies, which would relate to all the green in the tile. Now, remember, if you have a tile anywhere in your house which with this much color in it, you must pick a color from it. You can't just pick a random color like purple or something else. You now are married to the colors in the tile. But this is actually, could be a really pretty bathroom when we eliminate the busy wrong countertop and then paint the walls and put up some artwork as well that relates to the tile. It could just be a beautiful thing. I mean, especially if you're living in this house for the next 10 years, you make those changes, done. I would go on a trip instead of spending $37,000 on this bathroom. Bathroom number two, Bethany sent in her upstairs bathroom. She said, for now, she's keeping the tub, shower, tile, and vanity. We definitely want to paint the walls in the vanity as well as replace the light fixture and the mirror. A full renovation will happen, but we want to give ourselves a quicker fix until we're ready. That is so smart. 
because she already has a cute shower curtain that we could use. So speaking of timeless white bathrooms, when a bathroom lacks charm, like a small scale mosaic tile, white subway tile going all the way up to the ceiling, or a white vanity, it can fall flat. So the first thing to know is that a bathroom like this desperately needs color. The muted navy accents are just not cutting it here. In a small bathroom where the color has to do the heavy lifting, I'd go all the way, paint the ceiling, especially when the tile goes up to the ceiling, you kind of lose the color at the shower end of the bathroom. So I think it's really a great idea in most cases to paint your ceiling as well. Also, because there doesn't appear to be a window in this bathroom, I would go bold. You're always gonna put the light on anyway, just like in a powder room that is usually a dark and dramatic color for the same reason. So option number one, keep the shower curtain. The navy in the shower curtain already repeats the navy in the vanity. The pink beige in the shower curtain relates to the existing pink beige tile. And we could just take that green color and just paint the whole bathroom in that soft green, replace the mirror, replace the light fixture, and this would create some more room for art. And a nice rug is always a pretty touch in a bathroom. Done. Option number two. Anthropology is a good place to shop for whimsical, fun, colorful shower curtains that then you might be able to find that neutral that might relate to what's already in your existing bathroom and then pull out a really fun color like we did here with the navy and the pink. Also, consider just replacing the floor with maybe a two inch hex tile. That is a relatively inexpensive update or you could even replace it with some sheet vinyl. So the other thing to notice about this bathroom is it looks like at one point the pork chop was removed right, the vanity that extends over the toilet, which is why the mirror is so big. So if suddenly the actual box for the light fixture is in the wrong place, you could do something similar to what my director of e-design did in her bathroom renovation because she didn't want to call in an electrician. She just bought a pendant light and swiped it because the pattern, the wallpaper is so busy, you can't even tell that she did that. So that's a hot tip as well that you could use. Bathroom number three is a note from Samantha. She said, I need help with my primary bathroom. We moved a year ago and haven't done anything, but it feels run down. I wanna paint the walls, trim and vanity for sure. This is the first house we've lived in where I have my own private bathroom with my own tub, super fun. I love taking a bath to relax, so that is important to me. So what can we do with this light and airy bathroom short of a renovation? So already it's painted a fabulous shade of blue, which actually blue is always good with pink beige tile. So basically what we have is a primarily cream bathroom and the only place that the offending tile is vertical is the surround around the tub and that could easily be painted cream as well. Paint the cherry cabinets cream. It's kind of like if you had a black vanity in this bathroom because the cherry doesn't go with anything. It makes no sense. It would be the same as if you had just this random black vanity in a bathroom where there's no black. So repeat it once or twice. So in this case, Let's just paint it, it doesn't make any sense. We could even paint this bathroom a stronger color, buy a new mirror, new lighting, new knobs, and a pretty Roman shade. And suddenly, again, nothing wrong. The decorating makes everything offensive just disappear and look like it's not even there at all. That's what good decorators do, by the way. When they screw up on the undertone, they instinctively just decorate around it and then nobody notices. It just kind of disappears. Bathroom number four, a note from Helen. She's been reading my blog for years, following me on Instagram, and she's trying to decide what to do with the 80s bathroom in her parents' new house. However, because the tile is a beige tan and there's a jacuzzi tub that is staying, it just feels outdated. The fixtures are also shiny. It sure could use the Maria touch. This bathroom is also missing the bad accent tile. So in my opinion, there's a savable situation here with some correct colors. That is really all this bathroom needs. Currently, the taupe looks really bad because it's kind of halfway in the room. It doesn't relate to the bathroom at all. What we need here is a pink beige complex cream because that would pick up the terrazzo tile and we need to paint it on the ceiling and everything, right? So just a pale pink beige would be perfect in this bathroom. And then the other thing, it would have been better if the tub was a biscuit color right, to relate to the more creamier pink beige tile. However, because it isn't that way, we're just gonna ignore it, all right? And I think that the other thing that would be really fun in this bathroom would be to paint the vanity and all of the trim and doors this fabulous 
shade of green. I mean, why not have a little fun in a room like this? I think a rich green would be fabulous here. Also, the other thing to notice is that I would avoid shutters in a bathroom that already has a lot of hard finishes. This is where we need a soft Roman shade that would then add some softness and texture to the room. So since the glossy tile and high contrast black already feels really glam, I would replace the ornate chandelier and sconces with something more modern with an upscale nod to the 80s like these alabaster sconces and cleaner chandelier. So the takeaway for these four bathrooms this week is sometimes it's a good idea to even work with the era that the bathroom was installed in or add some trendy colors. This is the place to add color. This is a place where neutrals are not gonna work that well. So have fun with it now and who knows, if you get creative enough, you might be able to just live with that bathroom and spread your money around on other things. And we've recently launched a new package on the site called a bathroom refresh from when you can't afford to renovate. So if you need some help picking the right colors and finishes to save your bath from a renovation and maybe extend the life of it for many more years, I would love to help. So I'll include the links below. If you have a question for my color rescue page, email me at mariakillam at gmail.com and please subscribe if you like this content and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.